Hello everybody, it's Bogaduck, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the replay mod in Minecraft 1.20. Now, this tutorial will work for any version of Minecraft 1.20, but the first thing you need to do is actually download and install the replay mod. Now, um, I made a video about how to do that. That's going to be your first link in the video description, uh, and that video got... Uh, quite a lot of views and likes and I had a lot of people comment and ask me how to use the mod So here is my full-blown tutorial on how to use the replay mod in Minecraft 1.20 So the first thing you want to do is you want to actually log into your world and um, Record something now with the replay mod you can record anything from cinematics to uh, time lapses or slow motion whatever you want um, so to actually record something in your world, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the escape key and you'll see at the bottom right corner of your screen, it'll say start recording and then it'll say resume recording. That's kind of grayed out because we're not actually recording. Um, so if you click this start recording button right here, then it's going to actually begin recording for you. Uh, you can also enable the replay mod to start recording automatically as soon as you enter the world, but I personally choose not to do that and just do it manually. So anyways, here we are. We are currently recording, and um, for this video, I'm just going to do a short little um, flyover of this village here. So as you can see, I'm just kind of doing a circle around this village. Um, now, to actually pause the recording, what you can do is you can hit escape, and then you can hit pause, and if we look at the top of our screen, um, it's going to say pause. Now, you can also, I think, do a hotkey to enable this, but once again, I personally don't mind just hitting escape and hitting pause and resume and stop and all that. But anyways, to resume it, all you do is you hit the resume key again, and it's going to resume your recording, and then you can keep doing whatever it was you were doing. Um, and that is pretty simple. And then whenever you're ready to stop your recording, you want to hit escape and hit where it says stop right here. Now we have our recording saved, so we're going to actually log out of our Minecraft world here. Um, so it's going to save and close our world. And then when we get back to the home screen here, it's going to say saving replay file. Um, and it's going to go ahead and do that. Now, the longer you make your replay file, the longer it will take to save. But this one's pretty short, so it's not really taking um, a whole lot of time to save. Um, but anyways, there you go. So it's going to say saving replay file, and it's going to just kind of say the date and the time or whatever. Uh, and we can click done up here at the top. Now, the next thing you want to do is we're at the home screen. And um, Vanilla Minecraft doesn't have this feature, but with the replay mod, you can actually click this little button right here. It's called the replay viewer. And if we click on that, it's going to show all of our Minecraft replay uh, videos. So this one up here at the top is the one that we just recorded right now. Um, so the first thing you can do is you can either load, rename, delete, edit, or cancel. Um, so like we can rename this file or this replay tutorial. And then click where it says rename, and that's going to rename our recording to tutorial. Um, obviously, you can choose whatever name you want, but once you actually uh, click on this, you want to click where it says load right here at the top, and it's going to go ahead and join your Minecraft world. Now, as you can see, our world is currently loading before us, and um, at the top, you can see that we are actually moving in real time. So, once you're actually in the replay file, you want to click where it says T, and then up at the top left corner, you want to click on this button right here to pause this. Once you do that, next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click at the very, very far left of this um, brown bar right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to reset the time back to the very beginning of your replay file. There we go. So now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit where it says B, and... When you hit B inside of the replay viewer, it's going to show all of the players. And um, obviously, this is a single player world, so I'm the only one. But if you click on a player, it's actually going to teleport you to that exact location of the player. Now we can hit where it says escape, um, and then we're actually locked in this view. But if we hit shift, we will get out of this view and we can actually fly around. And when you're inside the replay viewer, the keys are the same. So W goes forward, S goes backward, A goes left, and D goes right. Um, just like in regular Minecraft. So at this point, we actually fly over to whatever perspective we want to start our replay at. 
So I'm going to start it right here. I think this is a good angle to start our replay file. All right, so the next thing you want to do is you want to hit where it says T again. Now, hitting T basically just um, re-enables your mouse cursor. If you hit Escape, that's going to um, get you back into the Minecraft mode, where if you hit the keys and stuff, you'll move around. Like, when we're in Escape, if I move the mouse, it's going to angle me up and down. But if I hit T, then my mouse cursor is going to move, but my player head isn't. Um, so that is a very useful feature there. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is we're actually going to set a new position. Uh, to do that, you want to click where it says add position keyframe, and then you want to also add a time keyframe. Now, up here, we can change the speed so we can make it go really fast or we can make it go really slow. Obviously, if you're doing a time lapse, you want to set it to the maximum, which is eight times as fast as what you're actually going. If you want to do a slow-mo, you can do it all the way down to 0.1, which is one-tenth of the speed that um, you're actually going in real time. So uh, anyways, for this tutorial though, we're just going to keep it at one. So we'll just leave it there. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to hit this top play button up here. There's two play buttons, the top one and the bottom one. We'll get to the bottom one in a minute. But for now, you want to hit where it says the top one, and that's going to go ahead and um, actually resume. Now, what you want to do is get to the first bar and then immediately stop it, like right when you're at this first bar, and we're going to set a new position and a new time keyframe. But we're not going to move our location, all right? So the reason we're not moving our location, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, once we're done editing this. So now we have set our second position and our second time keyframe. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click this play button up here again. And we're going to go to a, like right here. So that's like halfway in between these dots. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to hit escape. It's going to bring us back into the Minecraft view and we're going to rotate. Because remember, we're making a circle around this Minecraft village. So we're going to rotate a little bit to like right here. Then we're going to hit T and we're going to set a new position keyframe. All right. Now we're going to hit the top play button again. And we're going to stop it right at that next line. We're going to hit escape and we're going to keep going with our circle around the map right here. Um, and we're going to stop it like right there. We're going to set our new positions. Okay, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go about halfway to the next line. And that's that's good enough there. We're going to hit escape. We're going to keep rotating around in our circle. Um, and then we're going to stop it like right there. That's pretty good. Okay, and then we're going to keep going again. We're going to go to our next line right here. And we're going to stop it right there. Um, and as you can see, we are... Um, at the top, it's progressing our time. So like we're going to hit T again right here and set a new position. And like as I press play, though, you'll see that this yellow bar will move across the grid. Uh, this yellow bar shows you how far along into the recording we are. So we're 18 seconds in right now. The recording in total is 39 seconds long. Uh, so we can go ahead and hit resume again. Go to the next halfway line right there. And we're going to keep going around our circle. All right. Um... So as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit repetitive, um, but I hope that you're getting the gist of, you know, the rotation is you press play, you wait for it to move to the next line, you hit pause, you hit escape, and then you move your little cert, and then you move your character where you want it to go a little bit more. When you get to where you want to stop, you hit T, and then you set a new position and a time keyframe. That is the cycle. You want to do that every single time that you're making a replay recording. Um, so anyways, I am going to go a little bit quicker here. So we're going to finish this up. Um, and you don't have to stop at each line. So like, I'm going to go all the way to the end of the recording. And then I'm going to set a new position time keyframe. However, the closer that you set your positions, um, the more accurate your rotation path will actually be. Um, so I would definitely recommend, you know, doing it the way we were doing it the first time because you'll see that we're getting a lot more of an accurate representation of where we want to go um, with this first half of the recording. And so anyways, there we go. That's our last position and our time keyframe. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to focus on this one here at the bottom. All right, we finished everything we need to do at the top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom one right here and we're going to go... Click on where it says zero seconds. That's going to move our yellow bar down here back to zero seconds. All right. Now, what you want to do 
if you click on where it says play right here it's going to say play camera path from the cursor positions we're going to do that it's going to go ahead and um, join the world again and it's going to actually load up our replay now i do want to stop here just for a second because as you can see if you remember at the very beginning what we did was we just stood still for like the first um, few seconds. And the reason you want to stand still for the first few seconds is because in the first few seconds, that's when the chunks are loading. That's when your Minecraft world is loading up. You don't want to start the cinematic, but still have your chunks loading. You want to wait until your chunks are fully loaded, and then you want to start the cinematic because you can go in later and you can edit out that beginning part and your cinematic is going to look so much better. And um, for time lapses, that this feature isn't really important because um, it only takes a few seconds for your chunks to load. So in the time lapse, you're barely going to see it at all. Uh, but for cinematics and slow motions, this is extremely important um, to wait for your chunks to load and then actually begin editing it. Anyways, we'll go ahead and click play and we'll actually see the rest of the recording here. As you can see, it's just a cinematic um, we're doing a bird's eye view of just a rotation around the village of Whisperwind. I just made the video two days ago where I actually constructed this entire village. But anyways, as you can see um, here, we are getting to this point. Now, if you look, this is the part where we kind of um, I, I we kind of half did it. You know, uh, we, we didn't try as hard and it's not as accurate as the way we want it to. Um, but there we go. So it's going to say stop, and we are good to go. Everything's edited. It looks great. Um, you know, and then you can always go back and edit things. Um, you can add and re remove these and edit them. But anyways, we have our finished um, We have our finished cinematic, so we're ready to export it. Now, to export it, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on this where it says render camera path right here. I and mean, if you click on that, you'll get to see a few different things. These top two things, I would recommend leaving the same. I've never changed these and I've never had any problems with these. You want to make sure that it's set to MP4. If it's not set to MP4, you want to make sure it's set to MP4 custom bitrate. Video resolution, you want to leave this the same um, because once again, this is the default Minecraft resolution. If you want to make like a YouTube short, you can go into another program once it's exported and actually edit it. Uh, I want to leave the bitrate the same. I've never had any problems with this. But your video frame rate is very important. As you can see right now, my video frame rate is only 20. But this is, your frame rate is like your FPS. So when I export this, it's going to be at 20 FPS. Um, you know, for time lapses, so it doesn't take like 4 hours to render at 60 FPS, I, I make it a little bit lower, like 20 or 30. Um, for this cinematic, you can make it higher. But, um, you know, you can make it go all the way up to 120. It's the highest you can go. The lowest you can go is 10. But I would not recommend going below 20. If you go anything below 20, the quality is going to significantly drop. Uh, and your your viewers that are watching your replay video are going to notice that the quality sucks. Um, so anyways, and then if you scroll down here, this is the output file right here. This is what it's going to um, output as. You just want to leave this alone. But under the advanced settings, you can do these different things. Um, I'm not going to go too in-depth with this because this stuff's really advanced. I've never really messed with any of this. Um, you know, I might, if you guys have questions about these kinds of things, then I will make another video about advanced replay settings. But this is just a basic tutorial. So we're just going to click where it says render right here. And then it's going to actually go ahead and render our replay file right here. So it's going to say joining world at first, just like when it's loading up. And then it's going to go ahead and render the chunks. Um, now as you can see, there are a total of 789 frames that we are rendering. And um, it's just going to do its thing. Now... The lower that you set your frame rate to, the faster it's going to render. Um, of course, if you set it at a higher frame rate, it's going to take longer to render each frame. This is why I set my frame rate at 20, so it goes relatively quickly. You can see here, it's only going to take about a minute and 30 seconds, two minutes, to render this um, time lapse, which is pretty good. Now, down here at the bottom, you can also pause the rendering, so we can pause it right there, and it's going to pause the rendering. Um, and then to resume the rendering, you click resume rendering, and it's going to resume the rendering. If for whatever reason you want to cancel your render, like if you forgot that you messed something up and you need to go back and change it, you can click this cancel rendering button and it's going to cancel your render and you can go back and change it. Um, 
So we are just going to go ahead and let this finish rendering. And while this is finished rendering, a lot of you guys are not subscribed. So that is definitely something that I would recommend if this tutorial is working for you. If you are able to successfully create a replay video with the replay mod in Microphone 1.20, to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the like button. Um, so anyways, we're almost done rendering here. As you can see, it'll only be a few more seconds. And... Looks like we are almost done, only six, five seconds to go. And once it's done rendering, there we go. Um, it's gonna go ahead and say, well, it'll pause a little bit right here, just at the very end, it always does that. But it's gonna go ahead and say your video has successfully rendered it. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna actually open your video folder. Um, you wanna click on open video folder, and this is gonna go ahead and open up your replay file. All right, now this is where the folder of the video is saved on your computer. So if we actually click, or we can actually now watch this video on our computer. But more importantly, you want to drag and drop this to a spot on your computer where it's going to be easy to access. Because right now it's way down in your .minecraft folder, which you have to, you know, search for. And it takes a long time to find this. But right here, you can just drag and drop this to, like, say, your downloads folder. And then you'll just easily be able to open your downloads folder and the video will be right there. Uh, anyways, what we're going to do now is close out of this. And we're going to click where it says close. And as you can see, our video will be popped up right here. Now, for some reason, Replay Mod has this weird glitch. Um, so we're going to actually escape first. So you hit escape, and then you hit exit replay. And that's going to go ahead and actually close out of the replay. And it does take um, a little while sometimes to actually close out. But there we go. Now, for some reason, Replay Mod has this strange glitch where after you render something, um, the shaders and stuff will get all messed up. And it'll be like a black screen. So to fix that, what you want to do is you want to go to where it says options and go to your video settings, go to shader packs, and you want to disable the shader packs, click apply, and then click enabled and click apply, and then click where it says done, 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 and now you're back at the home screen. Now, when you go back into the replay mod um, and watch your videos, there won't be a box screen. The shaders won't look like they're um, obsessively bright and everything will be normal. Um, so if you do ha have that problem, that is the solution to just disable the shaders and then re-enable them. Um, and that will fix that problem for you. So uh, anyways, that's pretty much it. The only other thing that we have to do is we're gonna watch our video on our computer. So we're gonna go to our file explorer right here. Um, I'm gonna actually open up our downloads folder, which is where we put the replay mod. Uh, we're gonna click where it says downloads right here. And then um, this is our uh, video right here. So it's an MP4 file. If we click on this and actually open it up, then we can watch our video. And here is the video. So as you can see, um, you know, the first few seconds it'll take. But um, now, you know, we're going around here. And for some reason, it's glitching a little bit. On my end, uh, I think it's just because I have so many programs open at the same time. But this is uh, pretty much all you have to do in order to actually create your own video with the replay mod. And that's all you have to do to actually use the replay mod in Minecraft 1.20. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.